Yeah, I'm putting mine in. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're at in the world. This is a live stream. It is 1230 here in the States on Saturday. The weather's uh, very good today. It's, it's not hot. It's not cold. It's very uh, mild in between, um, although I haven't went outside. Um, we're practicing social distancing these days. Um, and this is a live stream, so if you're watching the recording, you're going to want to fast forward about 10, 15 minutes. Um, I give time for all my lovely, wonderful friends and or family to get in to the stream, and we say hello and catch up a little bit. And um, then we get started with the project, and today we're doing a little bit of playing. We're going to do some painting on neutral paper with some little goodies added in to the mix. And let's see, we got some people coming into the room already. Hello, Mama. Love to everyone coming in. Lori Lou. Hello, Chrissy. Love to all of you. Hi, Joan. Love to everyone. All my friends up there in the clouds. Hi, Joni. I love you, too. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Sorry I had to restart, but YouTube has done something quirky with their, their uh, control room, and it's Sometimes it captures my main camera instead of my OBS software camera. Hi, Coon. Hi, Giggs. Love to everyone coming in. Happy Saturday. Um, so when it does that, I have to restart. I, I can't go out of the – when I first set up the, the whole live stream, if I go out of it, and today I had to restart my computer, so I had to go out of it, and it doesn't like it when I do that and try to come back in, then it always captures – the main camera instead of my OBS software it because of YouTube did some sort of changes. So it's, it's goofy. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I had to restart. Um, yeah. But uh, hi, Tara, love. Love to everyone coming in. Happy Saturday or Sunday, depending on where you're at. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. They are happy and safe and washing your hands and practicing social distancing. In today's world, we must do that. So give me a second. I'm going to make sure that everything is running well um, and get rid of that other stream so people don't think that that one is the right one. <laughs> And go over here to the control room. I will be right back with you guys momentarily. This one here. Okay, there we go. Hi, BFF. Love. I hope I didn't miss anybody. I think I got everybody so far. Hello to any lurkers up in the clouds. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you, Lori Lou. We are going to have some fun today. I'm going to do some uh, painting on UPO paper and throw some um, extra fun things into the mix. Our resident... Uh, uh, artist Debbie Epps does a lot of uh, alcohol ink on um, UPO paper, um, and she's done some foiling. Um, I don't do alcohol inks, but, um, and I'm going to approach it a little bit differently and throw in some of my own tricks um, and um, do it my way, kind of bounce off her a little bit, but kind of um, throw in some of my techniques and stuff. And um, if it don't work out, um, it's going to be totally abstract. There's going to be no, like, real focal point. Um, so if it doesn't work out, it'll be chopped up into ATCs. And that's that's that. But we're going to have a play today. It's going to be fun. It's going to be free. Um, hopefully inspire you guys to just, just get in there and do it. Hi, CB. I know. I've seen your comment. I, I, I commented back. Um those of you that have seen yesterday's video, I had some technical difficulties. Um, it wasn't meant to be a fast forward with music uh, layover, um, but because of because it was meant to be a real uh, time 
a video with me talking as usual. Uh, it was it was about an hour long video to make that page and everything, maybe 45 minutes. Um, but I had some technical difficulty with um, Minicam. Um, so I had to inadvertently convert it uh, to a music layover and fast forward video uh, <laughs> because of the difficulties that it, uh, the video had. Uh, so, um, oh, you see it too, Kuhn? Yeah, it was. It's, it's been well received. So I might, um, I might keep that series um, where I, you know, because that was only number one in in the the video. But I might do those periodically and throw throw in some uh, quick quick uh, uh, process videos. Um, no, don't go there. <laughs> um, you can watch that video later. Um, it's about 20 minutes long, um, but you can see the whole process. And, and you know, I, I didn't make it too fast forward where you can't see what I'm doing. Um, and you can see the products. And, and the thing is, is because it wasn't meant to be a fast forward. You know, I didn't hold the products up to the to the camera, you know, but you guys uh, can see all the products that I use. I do list them um, in the beginning. Um of the video. I do a full list of products that I'm using. So, you know, you can definitely follow along and it's, it's there for beginners to kind of follow along with. So that was that. Um, yeah, I was, in, I uh, was working on that yesterday. Um, that's what I was just talking about, Christine. Um, you'll definitely uh, love it. Um, um, yeah. So I'll, I'll throw in some of those here and there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do a mix of both live and um, uh, quick videos with it, an hour or under um, because some people like those quicker videos. You know, they don't have a lot of time. Um, they still want to see what I do. And, and, and especially for, for new beginners, they, they want to, you know, learn from me. Hi, Dottie. Love to everyone coming in. Um, so, uh, plus I need uh, for, um, my channel to grow and, um, for me to be able to work, get more work done in the studio, I need to be able to do those shorter videos, um, and less lives. So I, I, I'm, I'm doing a mix of both, um, and, you know, bring some friends, uh, share it on your social media, share my channel, uh, uh, with your family, um, yeah, um, I'm still um, thinking of all the things that I'm going to put up a poll because um, YouTube hasn't turned on my uh, poll option yet here. So I guess I will do the poll over uh, on uh, Facebook and Instagram of the different things uh, or suggestions that we had for the giveaway and see what uh, or maybe I'll just do all the options and uh, just throw everything in there for the giveaway. And then I'll have several things to, to give away. Um, and we can hold that in the next coming couple weeks or whatever. Um, so that way um, I can, we can have a few winners and uh, make it uh, as, big, as big a to-do as I can with the, the limited resources. Because, um, again, I don't have any sponsors or anything like that. So that's that. Okay, we're eight minutes in. Everybody grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, glass of water, whatever your drink of choice is. Cheers. Um, and then we'll get started in about uh, seven minutes. How's everybody's weather today? I know some people had snow um, a couple days ago. Your odd shake, okay. <laughs> Finished your workout. Oh, that's good that uh, the trainers are doing a virtual workouts. You need coffee now, yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I was saying um, when I first turned on the, the live camera that our, our weather um, has been really nice, although it did go down to a cool. 
40s or whatever the other day. Um, it's been unseasonably nice. Um, and it was very warm um, in the 70s uh, a couple days last week. So um, spring has definitely sprung um, here where I'm at. Um, and Mama Vaughn, because she's like 20 minutes from me. Um, so, yeah, we definitely had some unseasonably nice weather. Um, I don't know what that what that what that entails for our future, but um, yeah, definitely some nice weather. Oh, good, Joni. Joni's got some nice weather going on there in the UK. Um, yeah, definitely um, some some good good stuff for our UK friends. Um, yeah, sixty eight and seventy, good. Good, good. Ooh, eight above, Lori. Oh, I'm glad I don't live in Montana. I love you, girl. I would I would come and visit you when it's, you know, during your, your nice weather time. But any other time, you have some crazy cold weather. And, um, yeah, I just, I mean, I have cold. I, we have bad weather here, too. Don't get me wrong. That's why I don't go outside. I'll just stay inside the house. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you definitely in Montana, you guys get some Lucky cold weather. Yeah, yeah, that I would hurt. That that and that just makes me ache thinking about it. Fifty-two and cloudy in California. That's unseasonably cool for you, isn't it, Christine? Oh, see, I love the rain. You know, I'm I love the rain. Yeah, that's what I thought. You guys should definitely be warmer by this time of year. Because I mean we're warmer than you, and that's odd. Hi Laura. Working and lurking. Okay, yeah. I love I love all my lurkers up there in the clouds. Loved everyone coming in. Thank you for coming and whether you're live or lurking. I'm gonna have a bit of a play today. Oh, I do want to pull out I pulled out some some colors just for the screenshot, but I do need to pull out my metallics now. And let's see. I'll get out my my white, and then my black. Right. Okay. Got out all my blue. Let's see, what is this one? Well, this one's turquoise, but I got blues there. Some blues and greens there. This is my indigo. Don't use this one very often. This is my cyan color. Um, I got my red and pink. I got, um, oh! Craft and Lanch. Um, I got this one. And, um, let's see. Do you want, yeah, I like the Indian yellow. I'll we'll get out the red and yellow. Yeah, that's what Joni was saying, Dot, that you guys um you guys are having some nice weather. That's good. Uh, I got my olive green. Do I want the sap? I don't know. I'll bring it out. Um where's my sepia? Because I know I'm gonna want some sepia at, at, at some point in time. I love my sepia. Um let's bring up oh, do I want this one or do I want this one? What's this? No, I don't think I want. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I've got all my inks laid out here. <laughs> I pulled out every, almost every one of them. <laughs> so it's easier for me to pull from here than up there. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's I brought out some. I don't know if I want black. Do I want black? 
no, I don't think I want black. I think I'll just stick with these two colors. Oh, you know what? Maybe my timber brown, too. I'll bring out my, my two browns and my gray. You guys know I'm, a, I'm loving my brown and my, my browns and my gray. So I'm going to stick with that. For our stamps. Right, right, Laura. Got to have them all. Well, and I bought um, every color. I'm a, I got to have the whole set syndrome kind of girl. So, <laughs> especially, especially when it's a product I find that I like, you know, or that I'm really looking forward to, to buying. So I bought every color in the line. Um, yeah. Um, when it comes to like my main medium, so like my inks, my watercolors, um, Seth sprays, um, magicals, I don't have all the magicals, but I have a good chunk of them. Um, I think it was 90 something the last I checked. Um, yeah, I, I'm gotta have a good, uh, <laughs> yeah, I got almost all of them out. I, I, I didn't, I didn't bring out some of my, well, I do have some that I don't use that often, but they're really, they're, um, they're iridescence. So like this one is, uh, they're shimmery colors, so they don't make a, a, a big impact, but we can throw some of them in, maybe see what they do. Like I have um, shimmering gold, I have um, shimmering blue, and a, a green, and I think a, a pink or something. Um, shimmering red, but it's, it doesn't even look red. Like you, you can't tell the color, like it's just, these got shimmer to them. So we'll just play. I'm just gonna paint. And we're going to see what happens kind of deal. Um, but I'm going to throw some of my, my quirky techniques into the mix. You guys know how I roll. Hi, Jilly. Um, so, yeah. Um, so the first painting that we're going to do, um, cheers, everyone. Love everyone coming in. Hi, my dude, Sissy Poo. Love to you. Um, I think I'll start on a Yupo paper. Might as well. I brought out the, the Yupo and the Nara. But we'll start on, on Yupo. And the first thing I'm going to do is just, and, and this is a, a good, um, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They won't show on screen, but I can put them in there. They'll they'll show in pictures, um, and they might show with some of the darker colors when they mix. Um, so to get loosened up, we're, I'm just going to go with a, a technique that um, I've been showing recently, and this will be a good um, way to um, break the ice. So what I'm going to do. Um, do I want to do stamp and stencil or stencil and stencil? That is the question. Hmm. Maybe I'll do stamp and stencil instead. So I have that. I had that on my mind too, is just to do stamp and stencil. But you know what? Um. Let me find one of my smaller stencils that I want to use. <clears throat> um, oh, that one might be fun. I don't use this one very often. Okay. So we're going to do this. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, yes. We'll do that one. Now okay, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to get out my fun brushes. <clears throat> Hi, Pookie. There you are. How you doing, dear? Um, I think I'll use this one. That's a big one, I think. Okay. Yeah, this one will work. Okay. So, um, you can do stencil and stencil with modeling paste. I'm going to show you stencil and stencil with just ink today. Um, yeah, let's do let's do my uh, favorite uh, acorn brown to start. Uh, 
Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I should have texted you. Um, and, and this is going to be cool because it's got this stencil. I don't know if you guys were able to see it, but so this stencil looks like this. So it's got this, um, you know, uh, pinpoint in the middle. So we're going to move that around, but we're going to make it in a, in a circle, right? So in this circle, it's going to be up towards the top. So it's going to make an interesting uh, background. And the fun thing about doing inks on Upo paper or Nara is that um, you can paint over them. And then you do a little bit of this, 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 huh? Okay, do that. So I'll see, and then I'll turn the paper here. And then I'm going to take a smaller circle, and we'll put that right smack dab in the middle, right? Little ones up here. Another one here and another one here. Okay. Then we have that. So that's looking good. So then we're going to, I'll just put it like that. And then I want to start doing some half circles, like off the page, right? Do like this. Do a couple down here. Do some little little ones. Oops. This way, this way, and another half of one down here. Okay. Now, all that going on. Yeah, that looks good. <clears throat> Make sure you guys can see. Okay. You guys can see. Um, let's do a big one off this page up here. And then this will be our last one. Or actually, let's do a semi big one with half of that in there. Okay, that looks good. I like it. Y'all like it? You better like it. Looks cool already. <laughs> so there is another way you can do stencil and stencil. Um, yeah. Okay, so that I'm gonna put that away. That's there. Okay, put this stencil over there. Okay, I want to make sure this is gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna give this just a quick little. Um, I'm gonna make sure my other blow dryer is plugged in. My lighter one. Oh, let's see if this one on low just doesn't. I just like to give this a quick heat set on low. Yeah. This is, um. oh, wait, now I got the paper dirty. I guess it doesn't really matter, but because my hands are dirty. Let's see. Usually on their paper, well, it, this is ink, so it's staining it. I got it a little bit dirty in places. So I'm going to try to, with my dirty fingers, wipe it off a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Um, don't need this one actually. Put this over there for now. Um, all right. I guess I don't have to give it a heat set. It's still, let's see. I'm just going to give it a heat set just because. You can't really heat useful paper or um, 
Nara paper because it's synthetic, it's a plastic. So I do it re uh, uh, really quick and not real close to it and just kind of on low. If you have a, a Ranger heat gun or one that does a low heat, you can do it, but not for very long. Okay, so that looks good. Now we're going to paint a little bit. I move my stamps over there. Okay, let me get out. Um, let's see. Oh, let's let's do this. Where is my favorite? Here it is, marine. We're going to use this one, and we'll use a little bit of this one. And I want to use no. Um, maybe indigo. No. Let me paint gray. Where's my paint gray? Yeah. Okay. That'll be our dark for now. And then, all right. Maybe this would be. No. Okay. This will be fine. Where is paper towel? All right. that side okay. paint brushes this one and nope not that one hello 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 Spray bottle. Do I have enough water? Check. Okay. Okay. Let's give this a good spray. And I want to test this ink because I have not used this Versafine on here, but I'm sure it should be fine. My brush is wet. We shall see. Let me see how well it's going to stay. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay. Beautiful thing. And it all works out. Okay. Okay. Now we get to see the pigments dance. And this is what I love about these FW inks. They really mix and mingle and dance across the paper, um, providing you uh, move them uh, in a certain way. Um, but they really uh, are easy to, to use in that function because they, are, they're, they just lend themselves to um, that kind of movement. Um, so I'm gonna be totally abstract with it. There's gonna be no right or wrong. Um, there it goes. See, um, there's going to be no, I'm not doing anything particular. I'm just putting down um, pigment and we're just going to let it dance. Oh, I love that spidering. Love that. Love that. And then I get clean water and I come around and I can just, I can make a dance where I want it to. See how the, the ink just follows me. Ha, ah, love that, love that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can manipulate if you if you um, play and learn, you can manipulate the ink to do what you want it to do and go where you want it to go. Um, Me too, Mama. Me too. Okay. It's a little bit of a. Okay. Now I'm just going to kind of let that. I love that tidbit right there. So I'm going to kind of leave that alone as I move forward in this painting. Um, a little bit more of this. 
I love this is I, I need to get some more of this. It's my favorite um, color, one of the favorite colors in this line. I uh, also be using my other favorite color, which is the um, olive green in this set. Um, yeah, just love it. But look at lot, look at that. Oh, yum yum, yum yum. Okay, Go to the yellow here. Look at that. Look at that. And then you get the green. As it mixes through. And a dog hair. Look at we got a little bit of it there too working. Yeah. Wasabi seaweed. Are you talking to me? Oh, uh, gigs. Is that what you're talking about? Um, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more of this because I want to get a little bit more green going. Oh, you're talking about your thing, okay. Okay, Tara. Okay, now we're going to leave this to dry. Actually, no, let me put it in the dark first. Um, and then we'll do another piece. Then what we're going to come back later, we're going to do some foiling on these. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is not black. I didn't pull the black, did I? Okay, good. Phew. It didn't look like black. It's Payne's gray, um, which I prefer over black. Um, in most cases, I you'll see me hardly ever, ever reach for black. Um, and it doesn't matter the medium. Even when I did acrylics, I often, almost always, pulled for Payne's gray. I rarely ever used black, and especially now, um, I don't, um, I, I even less pull for black. I have a black in this set, but I find that I like the Payne's Gray uh, most often. Thank you. 
being very delicate around this spot because I, I like it a lot and I want it to kind of stay that way. And I'm right now I'm not adding water. I'm just, I'm pulling pigment where I want it to be. I'm, I'm making it dance to where I want it to be. And you just do that by uh, pushing and pulling your brush where you want it to be. And once this all dries, um, because this is acrylic, it'll be permanent. Um, and I may come back with some more color on it, but I'm going to let it dry for now. And we're going to move on to a uh, different uh, paper. This was our get out my. Is my other one. <laughs> Kylo, where did you go? Hmm. I know. Oh, there you are. I'm like, I don't find you. Okay. that let me um let's do one on Nara um. hi Carla Hope I didn't miss anybody else. Hello to everyone coming in, all my lurkers up in the clouds. Love to everyone. Happy Saturday. Let's do um, some stamping in gray. Um, these are after stamping. Let's do, uh, should we just do some bubbles? I'm going to do some lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of this with the bubbles. Mm. Maybe those two. Mm. Oh no, maybe just oh, maybe some. These. Okay, maybe not. Or maybe we we'll use this new one I got. Now let's do that. We will do this in places. Side. I'm pick some different colors here. Let's go for hmm. Let's go for that one and that one and let's bring in. Um, let's see. Um, bring in a copper and. Maybe a Prussian blue and maybe this green, dark green. 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Uh, if I missed any questions, uh, hi Tori. Hi honey. Hi Dawn. You're in the background. Um, if I missed any questions, um, let me know. Repeat them, please. Uh, speak in caps when you're talking to me, so I know um, that you're talking to me. And try not to miss them. But if I do, please repeat them. doing this in bits and pieces. I don't want it all in one bit. Kind of want it all over. Um, so it's abstract. Turn your work too, because then you'll see where maybe you want, um, where you might be missing something. Um, typically, do that. I will uh, turn my work. Oh, this is um, the Chow Bella um, texture. For, and this one is the lace. Um, what is it called? Uh, napkin uh, of crochet. I, I had uh, Zandra get it for me. Because she had it in her shop before. Um, and um, I, I didn't get it uh, when she had it way back when. So I had her order another one for me. Okay, that's enough. Oh, well, mother, you must play with it. Today is the day after my show. You have inks. You have the, the, the PH Martin inks. You must get it out, and you must do some stamping and some playing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm again going to give that just a quick zap of this light heat just because I'm OCD. I want to make sure that all my stamping is um, Okay, now I'm going to stick with what I'm doing. I should do my favorite color pattern. You know what? I'll get the purple with that. We might have to mix in some white with this instead of this color. Yeah, I can use this one. This and this will give me that one. Then I have that one and this one. No, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I changed out the, the green and I brought in the blue. Okay, a little bit of water spray. Ow, 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 ow. Mother. Cupboard in a cupboard. Ow. My hands just are not going back down and swelling. I don't know why. It just for weeks now. Okay. <laughs> All right. In here. I'm going to 
again, I'm just plopping it in places, letting it dance where it's wet. Not really. Caring where it goes, how dark it is. Playing with, playing with my pigments. And I'm going to do some direct. I want to get some more purple going on. Okay, let's see what I'm gonna say. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Right. Purple, more purple down there. Make some. the metallics are wetter pigments I need to make sure are, are heavier pigments I need to make sure that I if I want them to really move a lot um, I have to pre-wet them um, 
to get them to do what I want them to do. to look more fluid. Okay. And then I'll come back to that in a minute. Let's put in... Um, white. Oh shoot, I gotta mix this up. Hold on. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. that maybe I'll come back to some of those now we're going to put in a dark again Payne's gray because it's my go-to um, need to get some dark going in here And when I put the dark in, I'm usually very selective. Um, you'll notice I'm very selective where I put it. It's already flowing by itself. Put it in right. Barely have to do anything. There we go. Don't want to mess that up. Hi, Andrea.
Oh, Tori. Okay, honey. Rest. Just rest. Relax. Hi, Safia. All right, I think that one's good. Probably needs um, a little bit of dark in that corner, though. Even it out. Looks a little odd there. And let this one drop. Oh, this was must have been tipped. That's okay. I'll come back and play with it now. Now that it's why that's not even, but okay, I'm gonna find some more even to put this one because that one tipped a little bit. Okay. What is it? Let me this on the floor. Ooh. There we go. Let that one sit over there. Okay. Okay. Okay, we brought our friend back. Um, it was tipped, so we've got some uh movement going on here that uh, we weren't expecting, but that's okay. Um, we're going to fix it. We are going to fix it for sure. All right, so bring about the colors. Let's see. There's our marine. At least it didn't mess with my little tidbit there. That's okay. Um We got a lot of green. I need to bring back a lot of the blue. Let's tip this. Let's um, kind of actually let me. going wild. The crowd's going wild. glue are you messing with i'm sorry honey uh, uh i'm not laughing at you honestly uh well i'm laughing with you in spirit It does. Trust me. It does. 
Hmm. All right. And the wonderful thing about these inks, too, is just like watercolor, they're translucent. So I can see the layers underneath and um, stamping underneath, we can see it. So getting all kinds of um, layer after layer in, in this piece. Thanks, Joni. Now, bring back in the dark because we lost that on this one. Oh, that one, that one. Okay, I'm just gonna have to set these on the floor because um, actually, turn them over. I just don't want to. I got my dog in here today, and he's liable to stop. So that's perfect. <sighs> Go back in the spots where I kind of had them uh, before so I can recreate that with what, what we had. Um, My dog is over here hyperventilating because he likes to burrow underneath the covers. So naturally, eh, he gets too hot. <laughs> so he comes out of the covers breathing. <laughs> like he's hyperventilating. <laughs> hmm. Okay, you're so silly. All right. Okay. All right. Not as beautiful as it was before, but it'll do. Let me dry this. Uh, yeah. Spooky, he did. He's, I mean... <laughs> Hyperventilating and all. Okay, no, I'm not liking this. 
this corner. It needs something. I got too many lines where the paint um, settled before. So I'm going to have to hide that. Hold on. You okay, baby? Okay, hold on. You okay? Oh, goodness, honey. Hold on, guys. Give me your give me your face. Let me wipe you off. Okay. All right. Hold on, guys. I got Go on. Slight detour. <laughs> Small interruption. Everybody take a potty break and get something to drink. We will be there in a couple more minutes. <sighs> Hi, Janice. Okay, show must go on. Sorry about the interruption, folks. Yeah, Loki, um, he got sick yesterday. Um, and he just got sick again. I, I put him outside. I probably needs to eat some grass. He probably has an upset stomach for some reason or another, although I'm not sure why. 
but you know these things happen when you have pets He's, he seems to be okay. He was, he, he's the type, he gets sick and he, the, 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 I'll know he's not okay if he just doesn't, you know, act himself. When he, when he's ready to go outside, he's all spunky and stuff. And as long as he keeps acting like that, then I know he's fine. Okay. I'm going to leave that like that. And we're going to dry this now. No, it looks off. The, it, it's it's uneven. So we're gonna do the same thing, but not in the corner. I'm gonna bring a little bit of darkness. I can't I can't be uneven. Sorry guys. Even though this might get chopped up into ATCs, because I may not like it in the end. We're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. Hi Molly. How are you? That's too abrupt. Got to walk a little bit over this way. Yeah, if I uh, my experiment here doesn't work because you know I mean I I've painted on UPO paper with stamping underneath before that I like I, I love stamp doing stamping underneath um, that's one of my uh, tips for you guys today and today we not we didn't do stamp this isn't stamping this is uh the other one is but this one is actually stencil and stencil so I took my technique of stencil and stencil and instead of modeling paste we did um. We used stamp ink to do it. So um, put uh, two uh, techniques together. Hi, Stacy. Welcome. Hello to everyone. All my lurkers up in the clouds, too. Welcome, to everyone. Happy Saturday.
Don't get it too close to your youthful paper. You'll, you'll warp it. This does take a minute to dry because you can't get it too close to the youthful paper. You have to keep your blow dryer up high. Let me get out my because I'm not patient at the moment. <clears throat> Bit, but I don't care. I can get it closer to it and dry it faster. This is a blow dryer on a cool setting, so it's not going to warp the paper. Hey, Jules!
dab up this. Like that, it will. Marks. Okay, corner was starting to get funky on me. Nice, Debbie. Good enough. Okay. Now I'm thinking on this one, let me cover up my inks so one, they don't dry out, and two, I don't spill them because I would be the first one to tip them over because I have, because that's just how I roll. Um, let's see. Pick some foil first of all. Um, I'm thinking, let's put, um, um, yeah, let's, let's, um, let's put, what do we want to put on this? What kind of design do I want to put, um, One moment, please. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
want to put on this? Do I want to just put, I'm thinking, I want to just put some letters. Like this one. Um, this way. I'll just put random places both of those. Okay. All right. Now, this is dry. Let's, um, Let's do some green. Hi, Karina. Welcome, honey. <laughs> the which foil thing, um, Stacy? And if you just a reminder, if you're talking to me, guys, try to talk in caps so I can capture it real easy. Um, which uh, foil? You talk about this foil. These are from the foil quilt uh, from American Crafts. You can order these at Zandra's store, um, paintandpaperstudio.com. Um, the favorite shops that I like to shop from are in my description box under um, favorite products or recommended products and favorite shops list. Um, Paint and Paper Studio, um, she has these. But you can also order them, I think, maybe from... Um, Depending on where you're at, uh, uh, um, let's see, you can get them from maybe from, you could try Joggles, you could try uh, Amazon, um, I don't know, I, I got them from Zandra. I know, I'm so glad you made it, honey, how are you? <laughs> um, let's see, I think I want to do, we want to do green, yeah, let's do green, we'll use the green. And then we'll pick out, we'll put some gold in here. How about that? Yeah, Karina um, is in Denmark, so she's six hours ahead of us, uh, just like the UK. So it's it's been hard for her to catch my Wednesday streams. Um, so it's good she was able to... Uh, Be here uh, today. Let's see, yeah. Let's do let's do some gold and some green. And I think I'm gonna try the quickie pen because this is a real small stencil. And I'm just gonna kind of um, do a couple. Oh no, this. And um, now I'm not gonna. Let's see. What is this? Okay, there it goes. Which one did I try? Is this one? I'm just going to do some of these here and there real quick and then um, then we got to stop and put the foil down. Um, Plus, it'll help me remember where I put it because, um, yeah, I won't remember. And it doesn't matter if these are perfect. Good. I can see it. See how well I did. Don't know. Mm, not very well, I'd say. Maybe it wasn't tacky enough. Oh, but it's pulling up the paint. Oh, that's not good. I did not. Is this dry? Let's 
see the you see the ah, you see the glue there. Hmm. Maybe this let's try the gold one. Maybe that one's just got too much gunk on it from when I was trying it the other day. Let's try it in a different spot. Let's try this one. I might have to do them um, one at a time. Which would kind of be I know it works with the flitter glue too, because I tried it before the stream. Um, okay. Oh, but it does it's oh this glue. This uh, pen glue, that's what it is, is picking up the ink. That's strange. Oh, yes. I'm not going to get a clear image with this glue. I wonder if this has alcohol in it or something. To read the ingredients, does it say? better when I burnish it it works but it's like it's picking up the paint let's try something where's my get my finger from being unsticky hi Sherry we are experimenting. Uh, I'm making a mess. Um, yeah, let's try one more. Let's. Um, I want to see something. Oh, this pen, this glue must have alcohol in it. Look at that. It's peeling up the paint from the corner. Okay, let me try the flitter glue. Because I know that that worked earlier. For the stream, I did a test. See, and it worked with the flitter glue. So let's try that. Um, let's, let's give this flitter glue a try. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try it down here. And I think with this glue, I think I'll use, um, I think maybe I'll push it through with this a little bit. Let's try this. Oh, let me let Loki in. Baby. Are you feeling better? Come on. Up, up, up. I hope you're feeling better. Did you feel better, honey? Huh? Yeah. My baby feeling better? I hope so. Alright. So let's give this a try. Yeah, I have some of the sheets, but um, it's the glue right now. The glue is picking up the paint. So um, I first want to get, I got to get something that's going to tack it down. And <laughs> look, he wants a biscuit. <laughs> um, I got to get something that's going to tack it down. Um, let's just try this one. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put now. I'm gonna get it up and away. You just opened this. Come on. Well, you worked before the stream. Why aren't you working now? Well, okay. Let's put a little bit there. Let's see what happens. Let me. I don't know how well this is going to work. Again, we're experimenting today. Total experiment.
anything. I wonder if I could use my, um, oh, that makes a perfect, um, doing it that way makes a perfect, um, whatchamahoosit, makes a perfect uh, design from the stencil though. Let it get tacky for a second. Oh yes. Try it, try it, Sherry, try it. <laughs> Let it get tacky for the, at least it's not at least it, at least doing it with the flitter glue um, is not um, pulling up the paint. Tori, if you're watching still, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Thank you for the flitter glue. I need it to get tacky. I'm impatient. Where's my... Know if that's enough or not, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. No, it's not glitter glue. It's flitter flitter with an F. It is from Indigo Blue. You can order it online or order from them online. Um, as I said a few months ago, I am, um, uh, and I meant to put them on my list. I just have not done so yet. Indigo Blue um, is another company um, overseas that I do recommend ordering from. Um, I don't remember if I put them on there or not, but uh, I got to go through and update my list. Um, but it's Flitter Glue, um, and it's they're awesome to order from. Um, It's not perfect because I did not do it perfect, but the flitter glue works, people. It works. Yes. See? So, ha, 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 ha. Okay. No, it's flitter, but you can use glitter glue. Don't, don't, don't knock the, don't knock the, the glitter glue. Okay, so I am going to be totally random and all kinds of, because uh, this, uh, you know, we're just going to be, we're just going to be all kinds of, I'm going to do, do a little bit here. Oh, opening the bottle would be good. Just saying. Um. And this this stuff to, does give you working time. Um, let me put some there, some here, and some here. And what I'm going to do, so I'm going to be totally random with it. Maybe it would probably be better if I did it like this instead of on my stencil, right? So we totally get a, a random. Yep, and I can see where it goes. This is actually better. Oh, perfect. I love it. I love it. Love it when a plan comes together, people. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay. Because it is time to get tacky, I don't care. I have time to wait. I have time to waste. Put a little bit on my little squeegee there. <clears throat> Hi, Teresa, honey. How are you? Um, because I wanted. Put some there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go sideways. How crazy is that? We are going sideways, people. We are going sideways. We don't care. 
We are going for it. We are going bold. Now, if you're doing this at home, make sure you wash your stencils. Be a good stencil mommy and wash your stencils. I'm just saying. Okay. Now, because, again, it needs time to get tacky, so I'm just going to set this somewhere safe for a second and be a good stencil mommy and wash my stencils really quick with a wipey. I mean, this is glue. It shouldn't hurt your stencils, but, you know, just give them a quick, quick rub with a baby wipe, and they should be good to go. Okay. Step one, done. Oh, don't stick together. Don't stick together. Okay. Those over there. Bring back our, our piece here. Now I'm going to give this a quick dry. I don't want it all the way dry. I just want it tacky. And I don't know how long that... I kind of am getting where I know my glue. But maybe sort of not really. So I'm just going to kind of... Whatever happens, happens. I don't know if it, I think it kind of goes translucent when it's ready. I don't know. Ah, okay. All right. Here we go, people. Here we go. And my hands are sticky. <sighs> Loved everyone coming in. And I need a, I need a, I need a good burnisher. This burnisher got glue on it. Oops. Not real apparent, but that's okay. Maybe my fingers would probably be better. Maybe that scraper is just putting too much. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Sticky fingers. Sticky fingers. Oh, maybe a wipey. Oh, yes. This will be perfect. Perfect burnisher. And it'll clean off your fingers at the same time. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That one over there. Now we're going to bring in the green. Do the same thing. Hopefully I have enough green. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect. Perfecto. And I can even see the details of the, the glue underneath. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Oh, a little bit there. I can see the details from the stencil underneath the paper. Uh, or the, yeah. <laughs> now, this was just play, so it's not, it's even less perfect than it would be had I been trying. Um, I mean, you know, this is an experimental piece, so that's okay. Ah. 
yeah, you get some some random sparkly bits. Some of it's real detailed and some of it's not. I mean, again, I did it very randomish. And uh, yeah, you can see more detail in this one um, than in, the, in the, this one, but got a little bit down there too. That's cool. So this is definitely going to become an ATC piece because, yeah, well, <clears throat> it's not a perfect painting. Um, and I'm just turning my head sideways now to see if there's any more glue spots that I can uh, put down some tidbits of uh, foil. in the piece to the to the light and then because it has glue on it I'm just um, randomly gonna go through the piece and do like that oh must have a big glue oh it does Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. This is definitely going to turn into ATCs at this point. Or not, AT, maybe not ATCs, but um, yeah, ATCs to go with any of my Etsy orders. That's what I meant. So if you order from me, you will get a bit of this. Any live orders, not if you order um, uh, digital, but if you order live. Okay. All right. So that's good to know. Um, found out two things. One, uh, the, the quickie pen is nice, but it ha must have some alcohol in there um, because it takes away the, the acrylic paint off this. Um, it's sticky. Um but it um, it takes away um, yeah it takes away the the paint so I do not like that I don't recommend using the quickie pin um, on your piece um, unless it's on regular paper maybe it'll work better um, yeah. And then um, the flitter glue, um, which is also another quick tacky glue um, that's meant for foiling. Um, yeah, Got lots of sparkly bits on this. So that was good. Okay. So now, hi, lady. Hi, honey. Love to everyone who's come in. Thank you for coming. So this is, we're going to cut that up later. All right, what time is it? Okay, two hours in. Okay, 2.30. All right, we have an hour to work on this next one. Um, it needs some work, I can tell you that. Um, now this one, um, because we only, done the, we only did the first layer, right? Um, so let's dry this mess and see what, uh, let me wash my hands, I'll wipe my hands again. <sighs> This board has got wrinkles in it. That's why this one did not go straight. So I'm gonna that over there. This one is straight. Okay. Now, where's my? I am going to actually just soak this up. We will go in with our our second um, our second layer of color. How you doing, Lainey? My friend. Let me move that over there. 
remove this foil stuff out of the way while I'm painting. So, you know, Lord knows. I don't want to get anything on this stuff. Okay, that over there. That over there. Okay, Sherry. All right, now we use this one, this one, we did not use this one, we, end, we ended up using this one, and we had a little bit of white, and I know we had copper, right, or no, bronze, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. All right. All right. Let's paint. at the end and this is for now all right okay we are um this is our first piece that we had to play with um so it's got some sparkly bits on it through a stencil i used um it was the first one, so it didn't, um, it was a total experiment, but you can see some of the, the, I did stencil and stencil with the background, then I painted it, and then we, we did some, um, some uh, glue and uh, foiling on top um, uh, to test which one would be better, my pen or the glue. Found out the glue works better. Bye, Stacy. Um, so that's where we're at now. We're going to finish this one and, um, shite, 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 shite. Um, see where this lands us. Glitter glue from Indigo Blue is what worked better. Thank you, Karina. Was this the blue that I used? No, this wasn't the blue that I used, was it? Oh, yeah, it was. Um, this one's going to be, uh, I want it to be uh, galaxy-ish. So that's what we're going for in this one. Um, again, I'm not putting the paint in, in um, any way. Um, being totally random and abstract with it. My hands are still sticky. That flitter glue is really sticky stuff, y'all. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah, I'm just... Making the pigment dance where I want it to. Creating ridges and pulling and pushing as I see fit. No, baby, grandma's working right now. Be done in a little bit, honey. Okay. Get a little bit 
the spray because I want it to be um, a little more fluid. More pink in there. Um, the deco foil, you have to let it um, sit for 24 hours, um, and then you can use it with the foil. Um, Debbie has some, I think you have, and then you have to, I think you have to use iron with it or something. I, I bought it too, thinking that I could use it, and um, I don't have a laminator. I think you have to have a laminator or a uh, I don't know. Something like that. You have to do something with it. I remember. All right. It, it has instructions on the back of the bottle or the jar. Okay. Now, let's see. Now, let's go in with... Okay, and then a little bit of white. Yeah, the, uh, but to use no heat, you have to let it like sit for 24 hours or something like that. I just haven't, I haven't played with it yet. Um, okay, um, clean up this mess. Oh, that, that's the color I need. those in case I need them. Okay. Now we're going with dark. I don't have one either, Elaine. I was going to uh, mess with it and try my regular iron and try that um, or wait until I try it and I'll let you know if it works.
Baby, I'm almost done. I like that. Looking for any edges that I don't like. Okay. Now we dry. And that's my grandson who loves his grandma and who got up from an apple a while ago and wants to be in her. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to play. <laughs> no, he wants to. He just wants to be around me all the time. <clears throat> he loves his grandma.
Yeah, this one's coming out. We, this one didn't get the the tilt that the green one did. It was able to just be natural and dry on its own before the second layer was brought in. Oh, yes. Got to take care of the fur baby, Sherry. Welcome back. It's almost done. It's almost ready. Can you get him, please? Welcome back, Joey. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Debbie. That's what I, I've been meaning to do that and I just haven't done it yet. You know me, there's a will, there's a way and I'm gonna find a way. <laughs> just like with the with this uh, paper, although I do have a heating element that will also work too, because I don't have the stylus uh, quill pens. I have something else. Um, but this is narrow paper, so I don't think it'll take the heat very well. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll find a way with what I've got. I hope to have a die cutter soon, one day, someday. those last few spots that don't want to dry up and they can't lift them because it'll lift up right off the paper and you'll have a, a weird spot
Okay, Safia, have a good day, hon. I'm pressing the button. Come on. interesting. Oh, no, that's hmm. very interesting. Try something, guys. It's still tacky right there where that ink is. I'll be darned. Wow. There is a fine line where these inks get sticky. Oh, look at that. I'll be darned. Just like the alcohol inks and that's why I was getting so much pickup before oh, that's interesting interesting yep just like the alcohol inks whenever it's really dark 
Let me try it with a fresh sheet. Bring some silver. Yep, I'll be darned. Has to be, it has to be that right, right um, bit of, of tackiness. I don't know what it looks like. Interesting. A little bit there. Oh, I don't want to do that. Well, that's interesting. Yep. Very interesting. You see, Debbie, what I'm talking about? Interesting. Very, very interesting. As long as these, these inks have that one moment of um, tackiness. See it down there? It's acting just like the alcohol inks. You see that? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Like I can tell when it gets to that spot, like this would have been perfect. I don't think I'm gonna stamp. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just do blue direct on this one. I kind of wanna. Yeah, we're going to play with this one. I love that spot. I love that spot there. Raise. Talking about Dottie, I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. 
I, I don't know what you're talking about, Dottie. Um, this is a really quick tacky glue. Um, it works real well with uh, metal with uh, um, foil. And I'm just kind of following my lines that I got going on here. And I'm barely putting any on. I'm going to have to play with the ink now. OMG. Oh, didn't know it was going to act like, um, didn't know it was going to do that. Okay, let's start there. See what we come up with. Let me close these inks so I don't make a mess. They turn out good after all, people. We just don't know. We just don't know. That there didn't even play with all the inks today, but that's okay. Now, give this a quick set. This glue. Oh, let me close this one. Just, oh, just went into the door. Good thing that door was open. Okay. Move these over here. Out of my way. This won't be long. This will be quick. It's just to set the glue, make it dry faster because I'm impatient. Bye, Jilly.
Um, no, that's silver too. Where the hell did the gold? Oh, this, no, that's green. Where'd the gold one go? Oh, I didn't know I had two silvers running, but that's okay. you all see this. I don't know if you guys are catching this really on screen a lot, but wait till you all see this. Ah! <laughs> wait till y'all see it go flying. <laughs> That's what y'all need to see is this. <laughs> see it go flying. like it a lot. I'm a fallen. I'm a fallen. No, don't stick to that. Not my finger, neither. enough look at all that pretty goodness and there oh hey that's some shimmer 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 oops wrong way yeah your tacky glue will probably work you probably have to wait a little longer but Yeah. Picture now. <laughs> yeah, picture now for sure. With let me wipe my hands because my hands are like so sticky. Uh, thank you, Coon. Yeah, that is um that's some pretty goodness right there. That is definitely gonna become a be in a collage pack at some point for sure. Uh <laughs> okay, let me get my phone here. Where the hell did I put it? Oh. Eep. So we did all kinds of techniques today, guys. I if you guys do some uh some makes uh uh or, or that, ooh. Um uh, be sure to you know post them, tag me. I want to see. Um let's see. 
Let's do one this way and one the regular way. Oh, that is beautiful. Show you guys in the camera, in the picture. Where is it? So I took three pictures. You can really see it in the picture really well. That was a close up. And this is a regular picture. Look at that yummy goodness. Oh, OMG. Yeah, I like that. Eventually, I, I think I'll mean I, I think I'll cut this one up into HTCs too. I don't know, but it is pretty. Both of these are kind of cool. I like them. Um, yeah. Um, so we did we did today. I made a mess, but um, we did get some couple of good pieces out of today's work. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see you guys uh, try it. You don't have to do it on UPO paper. You can do it on regular paper too. Um, you don't have to have the exact same products. You know, you can have anything. Um, any kind of inks, any kind of movable pigment will work. Um, so try it. Get out your, get out your supplies. Um, and give it a go. And um, if you're not uh, a subscriber of Debbie F, she's going to be going on next. Um, so give her, um, subscribe to her channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, she follows me usually on Saturdays. Um, and uh, she'll be up next. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, Karina. Thanks, honey. Have a great evening. Um, and all those in the UK, I, um, I'm i going to clean up this mess while I'll go over to Debbie's. Um, as usual, thank you all for coming. I love you guys. Uh, thank you for your support and love every week. Um, stay happy, stay healthy, and most of all, Stay artsy, my friends. I love you all. Happy Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye. <laughs> all right, guys. I will see you later.